finally Boruto chapter 52 was released today on the 20th of November and the next one will be available until the 20th of December which is a whole nother month but let's break it down Naruto versus Ishiki who is winning the fight? Hello guys and welcome to the Ghost in Town channel, it's your boy Ghost. And as seen in my previous breakdown videos of Boruto Manga Chapter 51, Naruto's new form, which is apparently called Barium Mode, is a lot more powerful and different than most of us expected. In fact, according to Kuruma himself, this very form has more than enough power to overwhelm Ishigi's. However, he specifically said that the tricky part about it is that the drawbacks, they are two great men, uh, which means both Kuruma and Naruto will die using it over a good period of time. In this case though, the form is very useful and can come in handy since Ishiki's lifespan is basically a matter of a day. It's an evil world we live in. By the way, this is the first time this form was ever presented in the Naruto Boruto universe, hence why both Sasuke and Ishiki were completely surprised when Naruto showed off his new mode. Why is Barrier Mode useful in this case? Uh, in the conversation between Kuruma and Naruto, it was revealed that the new mode is lethal and literally deadly to Ishiki, as it shortens his already predestined short life. Prior to this chapter, Ishiki had at least 23 hours to insert a new karma on Kawaki. But now, after receiving multiple hits by Naruto in the barrier mode, it was drastically reduced to 30 and then 10 minutes simultaneously. And the reason is since all chakra are essentially connected, every hit that lands on Ishiki suffers the same fate as Naruto, which is eventually run out of chakra and die. And the plan is obviously to shorten Ishiki's life first before the new mode kills Naruto and Kuruma which is the great benefit of this very, very risky move in this situation. But as with everything, there's always that one bad side, and Naruto being able to connect his chakra to Ishiki with every hit goes both ways. So Ishiki was smart enough to track down Kawaki's location and bring him to the battlefield by using the dimension technique. So now both Naruto and Ishiki are on the verge of death, but Ishiki can very much be the last man standing by inserting the karma on Kawaki right before. Boruto is nowhere to be seen in this chapter as he was mostly fainting out because of his injuries. However, in the very ending scene of this chapter, it seemed like he woke up and opened his eyes and it was most certain that Yakugan in his right eye. Which means one thing, Momoshiki will most certainly have another appearance while using Boruto's body. But will he interfere? And Ishiki? And Naruto? Or perhaps both. Cause every time I wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. Drop down your thoughts in the comment section and let us discuss. <laughs>